Hi, I'm David Pinard. Welcome to the Produce Made Simple Kitchen. We're your go-to resource for everything fruits and veg. Today we're making a very simple French onion soup and we're going to change it up a little bit by making it a vegetarian option. Alright, to start off I'm going to show you how to cut an onion. So usually what I do is I'll cut off the two ends, then slice down the middle, it makes it a little easier to peel. So what I like to do when I'm cutting is once you cut it in half, it gives you two flat surfaces to put down. For this recipe, you're going to want to cut them thinly into longer slices. You don't really want to dice it because then you're going to add too many bits in it. Now with this recipe, let's say to use about two cups of onions, depending on the size of the onions, specifically with ones like these, it probably takes you too full. So now that we have the onions sliced, we're ready to put them into the pot. Uh, we're using a more shallow pot, just so we can show you how the ingredients are coming all together. So you can add your butter in there. Now you're going to want to cook this on medium, uh, because if you cook it too hot, you're probably going to burn the soup. And the great thing about onions is they add so much flavor to this dish. And onions are very common in a lot of different traditions. Uh, a lot of cultures use onions as aromatics. Uh, they bring out a lot of flavor. So really excited to see how these turn out today. So you're just going to want to let these simmer. Uh, and the natural sugars in the onions are going to bring that sweetness to it. And the butter will slowly caramelize them for you. So we're about five minutes in and you can already see the color coming into the onions. And the smell right now is like absolutely amazing. All right, so after about 15 minutes, as you can see, the color is all there. The onions are caramelized. Now it's time to add our vegetable broth. Stir it around a little bit. And add the sherry as well. All right, so after it's been cooking for about 20 minutes, uh, you're ready to start putting it into your bowls. Now you don't have to have these fancy bowls. Uh, you can use whatever's readily available to you. Just make sure that it's oven proof uh, for when we broil in the oven. All right, after you have your soup into the bowls, now you can add some croutons, or you can also use uh, just any bread that you have around the house. Uh, I recommend you can cut it into a circle and fit it in there nice and easy. And what's also cool about it is you can toast it, so it gives a lot better of a, a melt feel, I like to say. All right, after you have your croutons in, uh, then you can start slicing some of the Swiss cheese. I recommend just cutting them into long thin slices like so. And then you can just lay it over the bowl. And it's the perfect way to broil them once we throw them into the oven. Also, if you don't have a slicer like this that cuts them into these perfect slices for me, uh, you can also just cut them with a knife. Just make sure that the slices are pretty thin. When you're putting the cheese on, uh, for people who have had French onion soup, you do know sometimes the cheese will melt over. So to make the easy cleanup for you guys, I recommend just kind of layering it so that most of the cheese falls into the bowl rather than into your oven. So in a traditional French onion soup, they actually use three cheeses. They use Swiss cheese, provolone, and Parmesan cheese. So for this one, we're going to make it a little simple for us. Uh, and we're just going to use Swiss cheese, which actually gives you that awesome stringy texture and uh, it's usually my favorite one to put in. Alrighty, we got these bad boys ready right out of the oven. Uh, you can cook them on low for about five minutes max just until the cheese melts. Alright, let's get in here and I'll show you that goodness we are looking for. Oh! It's magical, it's like heaven. All right, so I've waited long enough for it to cool down and now I can finally enjoy this. Mm. That is so good. We cannot wait for you guys to try this and send in your videos of you making it uh, to the Produce Made Simple page. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with all the Produce Made Simple videos that we got coming for you. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.